Hi everybody, welcome back to TEW 2020. This is the Invasion Angle. It's week four of July 2001 and it's raw. Okay, just want to say, uh, I can't remember if I've already mentioned this, but I'm going to take a break from recording over Christmas. You might not see a break in videos. You certainly won't over Christmas because I've already uploaded those. Uh, today is the 12th of December, I think. So that'll give you a rough idea of how far in advance I record. Uh, yeah, so that you might see a gap, you might not. I might be further enough ahead to, you know, just taking a week off might not make much of a difference. But I just wanted to let you know. Also, I want to say that I've probably just dropped the ball a little bit on this save recently. I've probably not put in quite as much effort. I'm bringing forward the invasion angle a lot sooner, and that's kind of messed up my plans a little bit, and it's forced me to do a few sort of um, unexpected rewrites. So, yeah, I, I, it, I'm, I'm going to try and get there. I'm going to try and make it a little bit more story driven again, uh, but just bear with me for a couple of weeks. I'm sure it'll all get going once the invasion angle kicks off. Uh, rating of 69. Uh, Vince tells Steph that the WCW are likely to go after one of their stars. After, after you know, they had a little meeting last week um, on uh, Nitro about the US title being stolen from them. And, you know, they're, Vince, they're likely to go for one of our stars. Just make sure our biggest star is protected. So Steph runs off. Next up, Matt Hardy takes on William Regal for the European Championship. And we've got a new champion in 11 minutes 30 by submission with a Regal stretch. But he did have to cheat. William Regal got the win. And he beats Matt Hardy for the European title. Rating of 62. Just wanted to mix things up a little bit. The, the intention eventually is to get rid of the European title. How, I don't know yet. Probably unify it somehow. But yeah, and I thought, why not? Why not put it on William Regal? Rating of 62. So we then got an angle with uh, Steph McMahon, and he, uh, she approaches uh, Steve Austin and Triple H, and particularly Triple H. You know, Hunter, you've got to be, you've got to be protected. Vince told me to protect our biggest star. You know, you're, you're going to get attacked or something. WCW have got something planned. They're going to plan something. They're going to do something after, you know, Edge and Christian stole the, the, the US title belt. You know, so you know, Vince has, has told me to you know, protect our biggest star. So she puts some security around them. Rating of 67. Chris Benoit takes on Kurt Angle. This was a match I wanted to put on just to get a decent rating. This story is probably roughly coming to an end now. Um, 82 rating. Pleased with that, but Kurt Angle got the win in 13 minutes 24 by pinfall with an angle slam following interference from Rhino. And then The Rock is in the ring and he's cutting a self-promo. Yeah, he's back, as we know, and he's cutting a self-promo. This is here, we know The Rock's going to deliver, and we've got a brilliant 100 rating. There's more to it than that. Uh, he cuts a promo, self-promo, he's back, and he'll be looking for, you know, to, to get back to where he was soon. He's had a break, and it's going to take him a while maybe to get to the top of his game, but he wants to get there. And then we have the APA take on Dean Malenko and Val Venus. I just wanted to throw in a tag team match. I wanted to use the APA. They are our commissioner now of the WWF, but I don't want to forget the fact that they are also in-ring talent. Now, rating of 64, they get the win in 9 minutes 16 when Bradshaw pinned Dean Malenko. And then backstage, The Rock is walking around, as he does, but then Booker T, Booker T from behind, lays The Rock out with a chair. So Booker T has crossed over the line from WCW to the WWF arena, and he has attacked The Rock, leaving him out cold, rating of 84. And then the big show's there, and he just starts laughing. He just starts laughing as the rock is starting to sort of come round. Big show is just laughing at, at the rock, you know, not like facetiously, but kind of like just laughing at, oh, you know, rock look, getting beaten down, you know, blah, blah, blah. Rating of 69. But then as the rock comes down, uh, comes round, he starts getting in the face of the big show, you know, how dare you laugh at me, you know, this is, this is um, against you as well. This is a, a, an act of war from the WCW against the, the World Wrestling Federation, rating of 99. We've then got Christian inside the ring, and he introduces the self-proclaimed United States champion, Edge, rating of 67. And then Edge defends, I'd say defends in inverted commas, defends his US championship against Taz. He wins it in 7 minutes 29 by a pinfall with a downward spiral. It's defence number two. I mean, it's not an official title, but... Edge and Christian certainly are treating it as such. Rating of 66. 
We've then got a taped promo. I didn't put taped, but it's a taped promo um, of the Dudley Boys. They're our new tag team champions, of course. So I just wanted to get them on the card. Rating of 59. Chris Jericho takes on the Good Father. And it's Jericho that gets the win in 9 minutes 53 by submission with the Walls of Jericho. Um, I didn't expect a 73. I didn't really know what to expect. I don't, you know, Jericho is decent, but I wasn't sure, you know, with, with the good father, what we'd get. I was expecting maybe something in the late 60s. So, yeah, you know, I can't, can't complain. It's not going to, you know, change the world, but not bad. And we've then got Steve Austin and Triple H. They are coming to the ring. They have their security around them, but they also come into the ring with Undertaker's bike because up next is the match and the winners get to keep the bike. Rating of 70. And in an 83 rated match, the Brothers of Destruction get the win. It was a no DQ match in 15 minutes 57 when The Undertaker pinned Steve Austin with a tombstone. 83 rating, not the best, but I'll live with that. And, well, you know the rules. Undertaker gets his bike back. Post-match, Power Trip failed attack on the Brothers of Destruction, so they tried to get their revenge but it doesn't work, and they get laid out. Rating of 72, and the fact that they're laid out on the canvas means that the Undertaker can just calmly on his own get on his bike and ride off into the sunset. Rating of 67, what do we get overall? 77, well, that's kind of on the border then. Didn't increase popularity, didn't lose it either. Still got this issue with storylines. I'm trying to fix that. But yeah, that's that. Next up we've got, uh, well, we've got Nitro. And then we've got Vengeance. Nitro possibly will be coming to an end soon. I'll see. I, I do want to merge them all into one show. It feels a bit hammy having them just on Raw and Nitro kind of goes. So I was half tempted to create a new show for both rosters. I'm not sure if I want to go that direction yet. But I've got to admit, it's getting a bit much now, running two shows, and one of them's always performing really poorly. I'll see. I might decide to keep both, and we will just have both rosters on both. It's a lot to book, but yeah, we'll see where we go. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.